I'm uh, Deborah Gardner and this is Nathaniel Gardner. So they decided to do a C-section after about 24 hours of labor. The C-section took entirely too long. Nathan, when he was born, was 12 pounds, two ounces, 23 and a quarter inches long, and wasn't breathing. The only thing that they could find was a heart rate of 90. And it was all due to them not monitoring my son after the spinal anesthesia. There's just all these things that just didn't measure up. Seeing a first year resident doctor pass out up against the wall during the C-section, it just, there was a lot of things that could have been prevented. I was naive, you know, and you hope for the best and you kind of blind yourself, you know, to anything that could possibly go wrong. Nathan was six months old when he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. The ride home, we cried. That day I cried cried with my family and then the next day I got up with him and I looked at him and I realized it's the same boy we just now know what's wrong. My sister saw an 800 number uh, <laughs> advertisement on the TV said hey give him a call and they led me to Janet Jenner and Suggs. They have a whole team working behind you and they want to do the best that they can for you. There was over 11 mistakes made throughout the whole first 19 days of Nathaniel's life. And so they went after it. Really took me by surprise was them grabbing a hold of my hand and being there right with me and shedding tears with me and just going through all the emotions that I went through. And they were almost like family towards the end. I mean, you get that close. A lawsuit is a long drawn out process. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of time. It's your child, it's worth it. With Nathan, it's been over three years and it's been an ongoing fight. When my son was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, I made myself the expert. Nobody was gonna put wool over my eyes. Nobody was gonna blindside me, you know. I, I, I wanna be the expert. Educate yourself, do your own research, and make sure you have somebody that you trust. In this state, this was the largest malpractice suit ever won, and actually ever really taken to court. We filed a lawsuit against the hospital and the doctors for malpractice. And uh, we, we won. <laughs> it gave us a whole new start in life. The potential for him to be as independent as an adult as possible. It's our job as parents to make sure that they're provided for. If somebody's done something wrong for your kid, make sure that you seek forth an opportunity for them to have a productive life.